Yeah, I appreciate that. He's at one on the throne. You got one size guess. Oh, extra, extra large. Extra, extra large. I'm hanging it up on my wall. The muscles so big. All right, everybody. We've got from your right to left, we've got running back Sincere McCormick, quarterback Frank Harris, head coach Jeff Trailer, defense back Antonio Parks. We're going to go ahead and start with an opening statement from Coach Trailer, and then we'll open it up to questions. Just raise your hand, and I'll get you guys as best I can. You can go ahead and start. Thank you. Uh, first of all, it's, it's, you know, it's just so wonderful for our city. Uh, we, all of us up here have dreamed of if we could get this thing going with the city show up and from the mayor to the city manager to you name it, every, everybody, businesses, boosters, city being orange, stadium being packed tonight. It's just been such a tribute to the city. And, uh, I was reminded by all of my coaches before the game, they could tell I was, I was stressing, right? And, uh, and I know I'm supposed to have fun and enjoy it, but we feel a tremendous obligation to the city and we didn't want to disappoint. And my fellas never disappoint and they didn't disappoint tonight. We're, we're the champs, man. It's freaking awesome. Nobody can take that away from us. Well, we'll start here with JJ. Jeff, can you just put into words what this means to you and what you're feeling right now in this moment? Um, you know, it's corny, but your dreams should always be so large that your prayer life has to match it. So when your dreams come true, no human can get credit for it. And it's, this is special. I mean, we've been here two years together now, and these kids, I told them this week, I said, man, when I walked in there on December 8th, if I'd have told y'all, if y'all would just be a man of integrity and have some passion, mentally and physically tough, and be selfless, and perfect effort, Pound the fist and trust the process and win the day. I guarantee you, you're going to win a conference championship and the Alamo Dome's going to be packed in two years. All 68 of them there were in that league when it got in the portal and went home. It's, it's these guys, man. They're the ones that believed in me and our staff. They're the ones that get it done. They're, they're amazing, amazing humans. They really are. Here we go next to Ryder. Okay, so of course, you know, they have the Hail Mary at the end. It falls incomplete. They put one second back, left back on the clock. And then Jamal goes up and makes that last interception there. What was your guys' first reactions when he came down with that ball and you guys were the champs? Um, I knew Bull was going to get me again. And I got dumped twice. So uh, <laughs> I thought those referees were nice. They weren't too nice to me today. Uh, I love them. They're great guys. And it just seemed like we couldn't catch a break on that end of the field, on that deal. It just kept happening. And it, I think the call was correct, right? There was, one, there was one second. I saw it when it hit. And I, I'm like, don't dunk it on me right now. And I'll boom, there it came. Because I know there's going to be one more. And, you know, I was just grateful. My, my, I had Coach Brown uh, try to interpret my quiet time this morning because it said, uh, we got to be patient. And I'm like, man, is he, what does that mean? Like, like to wait till next year before we win it? Does that mean I gotta be patient during the game? <laughs> it was my temper that I was thinking that my quiet time was talking to him today. I that that that, that gun holding penalty on Cephas out there, you know, that's that, I was I was mad. And then the referees made the right call. I'm not gonna dare argue about that, but man, we just couldn't catch we couldn't get out of our own way. Whatever you want to say, we just and I was just so glad it was finally over. We just couldn't get it done. I guess, Coach, I have a follow-up to that. As, as this game progressed and there are the ups and downs and peaks and valley, what is it like? Because as soon as maybe you build that big lead, the fans say, all right, we're going to be all right. And then all, all of us media people say, wow, they've got this in the bag. And then here they come. What is it like to finally exhale and say, for God's sake, it's over, we got it? Well, all y'all need to be on the field Monday morning at 5 a.m. You know, it's a culture pillar violation. I mean, <laughs> y'all don't believe in the train, obviously. It's not over until the last second's over. And our guys all know. We, we told them we're going to have to score, keep scoring. And it's not over until it's over. And uh, if y'all... If y'all don't know that by now, shame on y'all. Philo, y'all, 5 a.m. Monday morning. <laughs> Take care of that. Philo. Frank and Sincere being San Antonio guys, what did it mean to you at the end there to be able to celebrate surrounded by, you know, fellow students and people of San Antonio? Uh, you know, you know, uh, when I committed here and decided to, to stay close to home, you know, that was something that was a dream of mine. Um, just to give the city, you know, some recognition and, and bring one home. Um, so it just means a lot, you know, we're blessed and that's something that you can't take away from us. 
And just to follow up on him, just, you know, going to Judson and being surrounded by the community and having everybody come here and, and support UTSA, you know, first coming here, I knew there was something special about this team, something special about all these players on here and the coaches. And, that uh, you know, from day one when we started going um, into the season, um, the work we was putting in, a tremendous amount of work, um, day in and day out, um, I knew it was going to be something special. And just to have the community behind us, it goes a long way. Frank up. 36 for 211 for the big boy over there. I know, so I just seen it. <laughs> 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 Funny, <Anybody. laughs> Frank, Jeff, Jeff mentioned his first day in the first meeting and what he said to you guys that day, and he didn't promise today, obviously, but what do you remember about what you thought of that first meeting, and when did you think that a day like this would be possible? Um, no, he's a great guy, uh, especially in the college world. It's not too many people who actually care about you. Um, he, he, he truly cares about us uh, as, a, as a person, uh, not just as a football player. Um, and that goes a long way. Um, it's easy to play for a guy like that. Uh, he's, a, he's, a, he's a player coach, you know, so he listens to what we have to say. Um, like I said, it's easy to play for somebody like that. So it wasn't, it wasn't really strange uh, for us to have a season like, like we're having, um, just because it's easy to play for him and uh, everybody's buying into the culture. Um, he's just a man of integrity. For any of you guys, did, were there moments when you looked up whether they were flashing the cell phone lights or whatever, and, and kind of appreciated a full dome tonight. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, I glanced up. <laughs> I appreciate the tear. It was beautiful. And the, the momentum had totally shifted. It's like somebody queued it up perfectly. I mean, and then all of a sudden we went down there and hit JT on the big bomb to get us back going again. It was almost divine. <laughs> Uh, Jeff and AP, can you just talk about the defensive performance today and uh, just, you know, the stats aren't going to bear out how this game played out, but it was you guys are pretty stout against them initially. Yeah, I mean, that's a tough guy back there, quarterback. I mean, that's an NFL talent back there. That guy can sling the ball around. And um, we knew all week we would have to just get our offense on the field as much as possible. Um, we knew they would get some, um, but we just knew we had to get our offense on the field as much as possible. Um, and I, I really like the way our guys play. We kept fighting. We, we fought to the end. Hey, AP, you know what his record is against Frank Harris? <laughs> Only two. <laughs> That's the only stat that matters, right, Frank? <laughs> hey, Sam. <Santa. laughs> Coach, to build on that, you know, what can you say about Zero, your quarterback, and his performance today, his ability to bounce back, and all those things? You know, I was a little disappointed. You know, we kind of took the ball out of his hand. We, we got a little conservative there. And, uh, I was like, hey, man, he's got us here. Turn him loose, man. Let's just turn him loose. And we did. I mean, that pass he completed to Oscar again, a huge third down. And then I'm sure y'all all ready to, you know, run me out of town. It's fourth and four, and we went for it again. <laughs> he threw a strike up there in his car. And, and uh, we weren't going to play scared. We don't play scared. We ain't scared of nine, and we ain't scared of losing. We, we proved that last week. We went ahead and lost y'all one time. Sure. <laughs> so uh, we, we didn't blink. These guys were focused all week. I mean, laser focused. They were an absolute dream this week. I mean, they were desperate. There was nobody prosperous in our locker room. They were just a blast. And they're champions right now. You guys heard on that, on that uh, third nine pass, uh, you had just said uh, the stats for all his uh, yards, but the biggest play. I felt all night was you picking up that blitz. So was that a protection call, or did you just see it and you stepped up and stopped it, or? Um, you know, trust our training. Um, I saw it and I had to react to it. You know, step up in the pocket, block. You know, fit my hands right and make sure he'd be able to th pass. That would take my QB. Right? I don't know what play you're talking about. So. <laughs> <laughs> I remember. I don't know what play. I remember. Uh, number ten came straight down the middle. Yeah. Appreciate it, sincere. Okay, and then, Coach, you just mentioned that fourth and four call. Was there ever any doubt that you were going to go for it on that play? I was going to go for it on the last one, but that gummit, we went, it was fourth and eight. I'm like, well, I guess I got to punt it. I wasn't giving it back to him. I'd seen enough of him, right? Uh, yeah. We were going to lose, I was going to let zero and three lose. I wasn't going to watch four anymore. So I told him for the game, I said, man, I got a 10 year contract. They can't pay me off tonight. So we're going, we're going to win. So y'all hold on. Did I tell y'all that or not? Yeah, hey, it's very true. He did tell us that. <laughs> uh, Frank, you've gone through a lot to get to this point in terms of injuries, just your, your journey from high school to this point. How can you encapsulate that? Uh, get to get to this point to get to this game and, and to win a championship. Uh, he's no all glory to God. You know, um, it was tough for me when I first got to college, uh, trying to figure everything out, 
Um, but he does everything for a reason. And at the time, I didn't know what he was doing it for. Um, but now looking back at it, it's just for a reason. Um, it's for this opportunity right now. And, uh, you know, it's something that you can't take away. And I got to give all the credit to him. Very back corner. Uh, sincere, when you, when you look at that number, you know, 36 for 211, being the local guy, what, what onus or determination did you put on yourself or feel this week in advance of tonight? Well, knowing, you know, coming into the game, I already knew what I had to do. Um, just my training, just my rules, and the stuff I've been doing all year long. Um, you know, it don't matter. I told him, I, I told Coach, I said, I'll die for this team before we lose. So, you know, going into the game, my mindset to mentally continue to get the yards, especially that that big fourth down play. I think it was fourth and inches. Was and me. I pushed you. That was on the lane. I pushed you. <laughs> <That was laughs> <a lane. laughs> okay. We got to take the credit. <laughs> I feel my thunder anyway. anyway. But just to be able to gain eight, um, every every single yard out there and, you know, perform for my teammates and, and everybody else out there. And we, you know, got the dub. So it felt really good. And when you say you tell Coach Craig or something like that would die for this team, and I, I, I believe you when you say that, what does that say about – what this is now, who this group has become. This is a special group, you know, like I said, like Frank said, you know, it's it's easy to play for a guy that, you know, believe in the players and, you know, let us, you know, uh, you know speak how we feel and voice ourselves. And it's it's easy to play for a coach like that. So, you know, we even, you know, my my favorite saying is like, I got you coach. So I always tell him I got him and he trusts, he trusts me and he like, get the ball to three and let him do what he do. Let me give y'all something pretty cool now. Talking about three in the triangle, right? So Leroy comes to me this morning and goes, Coach, you know what today is? I mean, a championship, right? He's like, no, it's more than that. He said, it's December 3rd. I said, okay. So I looked down at my notes. He said, look at your notes. So 12, 1 plus 2 is 3, slash 0, 3, 0 plus 3 is 3, 21, 2 plus 1 is 3. Leroy said, and that, if that doesn't prove the triangle is going to be hot today, Coach. I said, I said, what else it proves? I'm giving the ball to three. <laughs> <laughs> three. We had three covered today. Mm -hmm. We've got time for a handful more. We've got Greg here, followed by JJ in the back. Jeff, it was a, a very pass-heavy offense the last time you faced these guys, and today you got it done on the ground. What kind of led to the, the change of approach, or how did this come together? Well, Sincere tried to tell you all earlier in the week, they had totally changed uh, <laughs> the way they played in the back end since the last time we played them. Uh, they had totally changed their coverage principles. Uh, they became more of a bend but don't break team. We thought we could block them. Well, here's an amazing stat, and I don't know if it's accurate or not, but I'll, I'll watch the TV copies too because sometimes media helps you out and tells you some things that you might not know. And the media supposedly, they said that that offensive line had taken every snap together the entire season, all five of them. I don't know if that's factual or not. That seems like a crazy statistic. And I was worried about our own line. I don't know if y'all noticed how much we had to mix match it the entire night. We just not, we have not been healthy the entire year. What, what those guys have done up front, and it shows you how great of a back he is and how great a quarterback he is, We've not had the same group the whole year, and it's just been. Y'all know if y'all can tell. We had guys just cramping, laying down. We had guys laying down. We didn't need to be laying down. Uh, we were just out. We we're just out of people, and they just won't go away, man. They just won't. Jeff, as much as the success of this season has happened, do you feel like um, big picture question here that you'd be able to look back at this season and reflect on how special it is as far as building the program back up? I've been blessed. This is my fourth championship. And what I'm telling my guys, what's unique about that, they can't ever take that away from you. And you're always a champion, no matter what. Frank Harris, Antonio Parks, Sincere McCormick will always be the 2021 Conference USA champions. That's where it starts, with those guys. But for the belief that everybody has in us, you know, it's nothing like the president and the AD launching a $70 million campaign, you know, right in the middle of the of our championship. We're all out here. He's a little more pressure on top of us there. We, we feel all that. You know, we, we're not supposed to, but we're humans. And we know the more people come to this dome and the more people buy sweets and the more people get excited, everybody loves a winner. And they love good kids that are winners. So, man, this is a special moment in our time that we're going to look back one day and uh, say we helped hand this off to another generation, to another generation. That's big. And these guys are, they're bigger than life figures. They really are. I have to ask you, you gotta be honest, did you feel a little disrespect this week when it was the talk about Zappi over Frank or even kind of the national chatter about Western Kentucky? It's, it's amazing how quick people turn on you. It's unbelievable. And the people we care about didn't, but 
all them suckers that made them freaking the favorites and talked about how bad we were. No, nah, we don't even listen to that stuff at all, do we, man? You know, <laughs> like, out the, like out the noise, you know? Yeah, we felt disrespected. Uh, speaking of the pressure, uh, you mentioned a couple of times that y'all came out pretty loose today. Uh, of course, you mentioned the loss last week, of course. Uh, the perfect season would have been nice, but did it not carrying that load into today? Is that kind of lightened since you guys were already carrying the city on your back as it was? I don't think the pressure is what got us last week. I really believe what I told y'all. I think they were a desperate team. And we were a prosperous team, and we didn't know it. We didn't feel it. They had a great week of practice. They were unbelievable. They were not loose in practice. They were focused. That weather got out there, and we played a really good football team. Those guys are really good at running the ball. And they, they did a great job running the ball. They, they took away, you know, our three-headed monster with, with the, the weather, right? So we got beat by a really good team. So it wasn't like we just didn't show up. I know it looks that way, and it feels that way, but – and that's why I'm so glad we won tonight. Because I, I knew y'all, I mean, you know, it's what y'all get paid to do, right? <laughs> but Southern Miss, is, well, they went wildcat. Oh, they're leaking towards the finish. They're leaking home. They're not playing their best ball right now. Garbage. If I may follow up, did that help you guys to play a little bit more loose, not carrying the perfect record expectations? Yeah, I don't think the perfect record had anything to do, but I do believe just getting our teeth kicked in got these guys' attention. And uh, that's that I believe, I and they might disagree. I, maybe the perfect record was wrong. It, it I definitely don't humbled us, though. For sure. That's I how agree. I feel. Definitely humbled us. Yeah, Coach, uh, to have Brendan Brady back, how important is he to this team? We saw him throw the pass. Brady! Yeah. Yes, he's he's really really be really five. Just, yeah, just how important he is in this team. He's a big contributor to this team. Just to see him out there smiling and giving his energy out there to the other guys is important. Um, you know, when I'm in there, he come in there and finish the job, or, you know, we rotate and, you know, you, you seen him throw the ball? It was, that was an amazing pass, and Zakari caught it. Um, but he's an unbelievable guy, and, you know, I love him. He spoke at our radio show Wednesday night. You talk about articulate. A business degree, his vocabulary is way more impressive than my country vocabulary. <laughs> my degree in SFA is kinesiology. He got a business degree from the University of Texas at San Antonio, right? He is a smart kid, high character. His mom and dad did really good right there. We've got time for one more. Does anybody have any other questions? Jeff, there was 41,000 fans here and a bunch more all across San Antonio. What's your What's your message to, to the Roadrunner fans so excited tonight? Uh, you know, I think if you saw our video, our, and how about that? You talk about improvement there. But, you know, we, we made, they let me hire us a video person, right? And we have made such a difference on our social media. And it's, it's got everybody on social media fired. Everybody, so many hits, so many follows. But Joseph, and I have no idea how to pronounce his last name. Can you say that for him? How you say it? Tuafa? Tuafa. 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 Doing it for the city, that, that, that's really how we felt. And man, that we did. We felt that. And that's those 41,000. We're so glad we didn't disappoint. Thank y'all very much. We appreciate Let's it. Let's go! Chance, baby! Runners! What bowl we in? What bowl we in? Do we know yet? Tell us who's next. Yes, sir.